Hello everyone, welcome to a new Tech for Tuts tutorial. Alright, so in this tutorial, we'll look how to cast shadows on a text in After Effects. So it's something very simple. And here's a little bit of what we're going to be creating. Oops, let's go here. There we go. So we have shadow here on the text. So let's uh, get started. Go ahead and create a new comp. New tut. I chose the NTSC D1 white screen square pixels. Uh, all good. Uh, 10 seconds. Perfect. Okay. So actually, size it down here 50%. Alright, so <clears throat> let's get started. First thing is we'll create a new solid. So control Y or layer a new solid and make comp size and we're gonna make it uh, like gray. Click OK. So press return to rename and we'll call it BG for background. We'll go to effect generate ramp and we'll basically create a radial gradient. Radio ramp. We'll make it like a uh, very light gray to some kind of a little more grayish gray. And we'll bring this down here. Press shift to go down horizontally. We'll bring this one down here. Actually, I just want to make this one a little bit darker. There we go. <clears throat> so we have a nice little subtle background. Next, we're going to create a new solid again. And we'll make comp size. This time we'll make it white. I'll click on OK. Now, this will uh, make it 3D. So, click on that 3D box. If you don't have it, press F4 to toggle. So, make it 3D. We'll take our rotate tool and we'll rotate on the X axis. Press Shift so it snaps. To 90 degrees. Let's go move to again. Bring it down just a little bit. We're going to extend it like so. Okay, so that looks pretty good. All right, so now we'll actually rename this uh, floor and we'll create a new layer now. Actually, it's going to be a text layer. So, text change, select the font you want. All my settings are already there. And I'll just say tech uh, full tuts. All right. So now what we need to do is for to cast shadow, we need to uh, to have this uh, this text perfectly aligned on the floor, right? Really just sitting on the floor. So <clears throat> to do that, just go here to active camera, scroll down, go to the left. Select your text. Oh, and of course, make it 3D as well. Let's switch 3D. Zoom in and make sure it's right on it. You see, I'm just a little bit offset it. I'm using the uh, the arrow keys. And you go. Looks good. So I'll go back to my active camera and zoom out. That looks pretty good. So we have our text. Let me just Bring a title action safe just by pressing apostrophe while going right here and just center it a little bit. There we go. Okay, good. <clears throat> so now to the shadow part of this. So the first thing is we'll go ahead and create a new light. So go layer new, whoops, layer new, light, and spotlight. Uh, intensity 74, 75 is good. Uh, color white. Make sure cast shadows is checked, and those will uh, those two here will change them just in, in a minute. So click on OK. So now we have our light. Now this doesn't look quite good. So we will change some of those. Point of interest a little bit down. All right, so <clears throat> now to some settings. Right, so I'm going to bring this up. 
so because uh, of settings uh, there are a few settings we need to change the first is on our tech for touch layer press AA to bring up the material options make sure to cast shadows is on so we can see we have the shadow right there and accept lights we'll say off so it remains uh, non lit say and go down it's good for this one and I go to our floor press AA uh, and we'll say accept light off so it's all white and that should be good cast shadows uh, should be off it's good yep. go and now to our light we'll go down here press AA to bring the, the light options <clears throat> and now we can change our shadow diffusion and shadow darkness so diffusion bring it up and you can see that uh, it our shadow is a little blurred and I'll bring the darkness down a little bit to decrease a little bit of the opacity the darkness of it All right, so it looks good uh, but we want to get rid of this floor we don't want to have this white so go there press F4 to toggle and the transform it pops up and we'll go and make it multiply so we only show the uh, dark areas and all the white is uh, cut out and now last but not least we'll create a new camera 50 mil is fine bring it up and now we can play around with that and you can do all your animation stuff so now we can see that you know, our shadow is way too too big so we can bring the uh, the light a little closer Move it up. Oops, set up. Move it up there. The point of interest down here. And now we have something that looks kind of nice. And uh, make sure you play around with those. Uh, you know, it's only limited by your imagination, as always. And of course, we can do this uh, camera animation right here. Bring up the position of interest. And keyframe those. Make sure we have something that is like that, for example. Uh, we can zoom out a little bit. And up to about a second, we will zoom in and rotate to someplace else go so now we can get some very nice animation here <clears throat> and of course uh, i'm using just here uh, the camera to uh, to i'm just animating the camera it's better if you animate you use a null object you link the camera to a null and you animate the null it's uh, a little better but you know, we'll make this quick here. So that's how to cast shadow on a text. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video tutorial. And uh, right before we finish, I just want to show you a little example, uh, also with shadows. I just made this uh, in about a minute. Uh, it's another one. So let's go here, let's go down a little bit. So we have some uh, different little animation here. So let's preview that. All right, so let's preview it. Right, so other shadow, the light traveling also as well. And this is uh, using the uh, video compiler preset, uh, actually plugin show targets to make this animation here. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and thank you for watching. Bye.